First tonight, as the temperatures drop, officials are issuing a warning after a person died of carbon monoxide poisoning in Massachusetts. The Pinpoint News Tracker bringing you to Western Mass, where that incident happened in Wales. Crews were called to the home there this after, uh, yesterday afternoon and found elevated levels of the gas. One person died, a second is in the hospital. Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with more new at 5:30. Steve. Well, Mike Shannon, carbon monoxide can be deadly any time of the year, but when heaters start working again after being shut off for months, it's important carbon monoxide detectors are working to keep you safe. Just an hour from the Rhode Island border in Wales, Massachusetts, the state fire marshal is investigating after a person died from a carbon monoxide leak. With temperatures dropping as the season changes, furnaces and boilers are kicking on. It's colorless, it's odorless, it's tasteless. You can't detect it. A person cannot detect it. So you have to rely on your carbon monoxide detector. East Providence Fire Marshal Captain Kenneth Botello says it's time to check your carbon monoxide detector. Every home is required to have one. You want to have them on all levels of your home. So basement, first floor, second floor. Rhode Island has had carbon monoxide scares in the last year. You might remember in November 2017, at least four dozen students and staff reported symptoms of CO poisoning at Cranston High School East. And in June, six people were hospitalized when a home in Western Coventry tested for high levels of carbon monoxide. If the residents of the home had just shrugged it off and gone to sleep, they wouldn't have woken up. According to the CDC, 400 Americans die every year from unintentional CO poisoning. Botello says they looked at detectors in 190 apartments yesterday in East Providence. About 10% of what we inspected yesterday um, didn't have the proper detection. He says they work today to fix that. If you have that detection, if you have those carbon monoxide detectors and they have their batteries and they're operating properly, you're completely safe. And something to note, the General Assembly passed a new law this past session that now requires schools in the state to have carbon monoxide detectors. That requirement begins January 1st. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.